Whether you're a rookie or a master, you know that anomalies are what makes the zone special. Hello stalkers, and welcome to the anomalous dugout. In this video, we will showcase everything we could find about chemical anomalies. So grab your gas mask, stalker. We're going to the zone. Chemical anomalies are areas where strange and dangerous chemical reactions take place. Even though all chemical anomalies have their very own characteristics, they all share a distinctive green color. They are quite rare in Shadow of Chernobyl, but appear much more often in Clear Sky, and even more in Call of Pripyat, to the extent that it might very well be the most present type of anomaly in the game. The fruit punch is basically a small pool of acid. Anything entering in contact with it receives intense chemical burns and melts in seconds. This anomaly is rather uncommon and usually found in underground places. In Shadow of Chernobyl, the fruit punch is actually the only chemical anomaly and it produces the slime, slug and mica artifacts. Also, a suit was able to gain healing properties after a long time spent in such an anomaly. The gas is a large chemical bubble that instantly reacts on contact by releasing a toxic and corrosive substance. It is much more common than the fruit punch replacing it as the basic chemical anomaly in Clear Sky and Call of Pripyat. It is also much more dangerous since it is surrounded by a gas cloud in addition to its acidic properties. It creates the following artifacts Stone Blood, Meat Chunk, Soul, Colobark and Firefly. Finally, the bubble artifact can be spawned by both the gas and the fruit punch. The acid fog is, like the name suggests, a large cloud of acidic gas floating above the ground. It can be found alone, but usually is paired with a number of gases anomalies. It will both choke you and inflict chemical burns, and more often than not, it cannot be avoided to get artifacts. Hopefully, its effects are not too dangerous, given that you've got the right gear. Still, it is advised not to spend too much time in it, as it slowly eats away your suit and your lungs. Notice that its visuals were changed between Clear Sky and Call of Pripyat. This anomaly doesn't have a proper name, so I like to call it the Moving Gas Cloud or the chemical comet. This is likely because it is extremely rare, only being found in one place in the entire trilogy, that is the Vine Anomaly in Pripyat. It basically is a moving ball of corrosive gas, and exactly like other moving anomalies, it follows a set path and deals enormous damage. It is needless to say that direct contact with such a thing should be avoided at all costs, so it makes climbing the vine even more difficult. Chemical anomalies are mostly found in clusters, composed of gases covered by the acid fog. These are very likely to exist in swamps or near swamps, both in and outside the water, and because a lot of water ponds in the zone end up as swampy areas, there are quite a few chemical clusters to be found, especially in Call of Pripyat. Unlike other types of anomalous fields, chemical clusters are not seen blocking passages, as far as I know. Chemical anomalies don't really have any effect on the terrain itself, but rather on the local plants. This can be seen in the anomalous grove anomaly near Jupiter that has a new type of anomalous plant growing inside, which is very interesting to scientists. An even more impressive example is the already mentioned vine anomaly, 
that has some gases at its roots. There is also the oak pine anomaly in Zaton, which is likely formed by one or several mutated trees. In Shadow of Chernobyl, it is possible to become immune to chemical damage by equipping four or five pellicle artifacts. Even better, using this technique, you can repair your armor while standing in a fruit punch anomaly. Note that using five artifacts will make the process faster than using only four, and that it is much slower than the electrical version. It is unclear if this is a bug or a feature, but it might be the result of an unknown interaction between the anomaly and these artifacts. We can also wonder if this would work with other chemical anomalies, but we can't know for sure since Shadow of Chernobyl only has the fruit punch. And that's it for chemical anomalies. I hope you learned something new today. And be sure to stay tuned, as we will cover fire anomalies next. Thank you for watching, stalkers. And goodbye.